The command of the armed forces of the Russian Federation decided to withdraw troops in the Kherson region to the left bank of the Dnieper River. The Russian military will leave the city of Kherson, which recently became the capital of the new Russian region, and nearby settlements in order to establish a new line of defense along the wide Dnieper River. According to the Russian military command, the decision was caused by military necessity. The Russian grouping on the right bank suffered from supply difficulties, as the crossing of the Dnieper was under constant fire from Ukrainian forces. There is a high risk of the advance of Ukrainian units along the river in the direction of Burislav, and as a result, the Russian grouping could be in circle. According to the Russian military command, the withdrawal of troops will be carried out in the near future. Taking into account the steppe terrain of the Kherson region, a strategic withdrawal is a very difficult operation. The Ukrainian forces will make every effort to inflict maximum damage on the retreating Russian forces. The situation in the fronts of Kherson has changed little so far. According to preliminary reports in the morning of November 10th, Russian units had begun to withdraw from positions in only one direction. It is reported that Ukrainian units took control of the villages of Pravdino and Kisalevka. On other fronts, the Russian army continues to deter Ukrainian attacks. Heavy fighting has been ongoing since November 8th in the area of Snigarevka, where Ukrainian forces were able to gain a foothold on the northern outskirts along the railway tracks. On November 10th, Ukrainian units made another attempt to storm the town, pulling additional reserves to the site. It's reported that Russian servicemen repelled the attack, destroying at least a dozen armored fighting vehicles and an MI-8 helicopter. So far, reports of Russian withdrawal from Snigarevka have not been confirmed. Early in the morning, the Ukrainian army resumed its offensive on the Viroslav direction. Ukrainian forces gained a foothold southwest of Dajani, but their advance was stopped by minefields and counterattacks by Russian forces. According to preliminary data, last night Russian kamikaze drones hit objects in Krivoy Raj. The explosions took place in the area of the dam in the Ingulets River, a local military town, and in the central city district. In turn, Ukrainian forces attacked Kherson and Novaya Kakhovka. The shelling of the ferry crossing in Kherson, where civilians are being evacuated from the city, also continues. The decision of the Russian military to leave the city of Kherson is another major military defeat on the Ukrainian front lines. It has important military, political, and moral consequences. At the same time, it seems to be a measure necessary to save the combat capability of the entire Russian grouping in Ukraine.